That was the incident of Ifanyo Basam Bush on attack. Yesterday being Sunday, um, some group of people, elements, attacked the convoy of Ifanyo Ba. And this was the result of what happened. Wonderful people, men and women of good conscience and lovers of freedom all over the globe. We welcome you back once again to our News Digest this day. Today is the 12th day of September 2022. And of course, today is Monday. To be precise, we must say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Depending on your time zone, this is Nicky Bobby. We are we bring you reliable news across Biafra land. And before we go ahead with the analysis we want to bring to you, we want to encourage you to not hesitate uh, to hit the subscribe button and join this community of Nikki Bobby as we continue bringing you undiluted truths of things that are going on in Biafra land. If you like what we are doing, go ahead to give us thumbs up. I mean like as well as to share our videos to those who might need it from your own area. This is uh, the latest development that happened, or um, more is trending today, but this issue took place yesterday, being Sunday. Ifan Yoba, he himself escaped, and um, his security aide, about over six of them were deleted, and their cars were quite rough handled. I wouldn't know the group that did this, but possibly it could be the Fulani T group. It could as well be other unknown people. But the truth of the whole matter boils down that these sets of people, the politicians in Igbo land, are not useful for anybody. They are not useful for Igbos, let alone Biafrans across. We have been shouting over the years for the level of insecurity that is ravaging the Zoological Republic. We have been shouting how the Fulanese the FG of the Zoological Republic brought in Fulanese to Biafra land and they said that they are inhibiting our forests. These senators from A to Z, maybe with the exception of a few of them like Abaribe, 
have been the ones who stood ground and said, no, it is wrong. We hereby they started pointing them as if that they are keying in into the ideology of YPOB. Of course, what Senator Abaribe is saying is the truth. Because the ideology of IPOB stands on its own. It's right, it's truth. It's the only thing that can secure people. What IPOB is preaching is the truth. Mazen the Kanu says, do not come and inhibit our forest. If you come to do business in our land, make yourself available so that we can know you, we can see you. Don't come from somewhere we don't know and go into our forest. We don't know you. Who are you? And it's the same thing that um, Senator Abaribe is advocating. And among all the senators from Biafra Instruction, it's only Senator Abaribe that I've heard that have that uh, ideology that IPOB is preaching. Even this Oba, if I you are seeing here, I have not seen anything meaningful that he did to support his people, even in his own constituency, nothing to write home about. What they are all after is going to take the money that came from Biafra land, they go to Abuja, they collect their own share. Upon all the level of source of insecurity that is happening in Biafra land, none of them has said anything meaningful, even if I knew back. We always say that whatever goes around most surely comes around. When your brother, your sister, your uncle is being manhandled, you have the opportunity to talk, to stand up for him, and you refuse. Like all these senators, all of them have refused to stand up for their own people. We say that one day, those things must Come back to you. And here it is, knocking on the door of Ifanyoba. The fact is, it is not today that this insecurity started. And the full are doing all that they are doing. Has he said anything since then? But wait a minute. He has been working with convoys, sets of security operatives. If with all the convoy he has, these people didn't fear him and they came after him, then how much more the individuals who doesn't have convoy, how much more you and I that are walking on the street of Biafra land, that will tell you how many souls that these governments, the so-called Zoological Republic government, with their full senators from Biafra land has really cost our people. These are all bourgeois elements with their filthy businesses that they are doing everywhere and there. They are involved in different aspects of wrong business and as well as their political ambition that has really turned our place to this the way it is. They are the same people. Yes, because they are the ones paving ways for these hoodlums. If as a senator he can stand up and defend his people, he can stand up and say, what you people are doing is wrong. Stop the insecurity in Biafra land. If they can put up their mind, then, and say something, put up their voices, you will find out that this level of insecurity in Biafra land would have decreased. But no, besides that they're living in Biafra land, all of them are living in Abuja. They feel that they are secure, they are protected. What goes around most surely comes around. Whatever that happened, I don't know. But the fact is that it has come to the limelight. They came after him. And I believe there could be some other ones that they will still come after with time. There are main players like Copos or them, but they will not come after him because these are the main players that the full of these are using. The full and these at a point they started going for these big shots are those the pastors, the bishop, the reverend. When they take them, they charge millions of money. Um, they will pay and they free them. They charge in millions. The FG are laughing. They say it's the best business to do. It's, it's quite lucrative right now, more than oil. 
and gas industry. It will get to each and every one of you, all of you politicians that have failed to stand up for what is right. What you want is only your pockets. It will come to all of you, one after the other. This thing that we have been shouting, the promises are shouting for protection, for security, for way of living. No, the politicians from Biafra land, they refuse to support their own people. It will knock on your door one after the other. One after the other. Because you prefer to dine with the Fulanese than us. You prefer to dine with them to all of us. Go and serve the zoo and come back in shame. This is what you have to bear in mind. And now you've seen the level of insecurity increasing on daily basis in a number of states. Yes, or possibly because it is not APC government. Now, possibly because maybe Soludo, one way or the other, is not stowing according to their roots. They want to destabilize Anambra states. But I believe and I feel, I wish, I just wish that Soludo will stand up as the number one security man in Anambra states and take a decision. Last time, the Fulanese urged him not to enforce the ban of open grazing. Now, I know this is coming from the Zoological Republic, FG. And this is what we continue playing at. When we are saying these things, that they are here already, uh, most people do not understand, and especially those ones who claim to be the zoo politicians in Biafra land, they, they prefer to take the money from Abuja, pocket inside their, 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 their pockets, and then allow our people in Biafra land to go. They don't care. They want the Fulanese, whatever they want, let them go and deal with them. It's more and will surely come to you one after the other. All you guys that claim to be politicians. Let those who have ears, let them hear. If they want to hear, let them listen. If they want to listen, 